Disturbing new information about Adams County school bus driver Burton Carpenter. In court documents obtained by 7 News, he admits drinking, quote, a little vodka while driving a school bus filled with Mountain Range High School students. His blood alcohol content nearly three times the legal limit. 7 News reporter Russell Haythorn taking our questions directly to the school district. Russell, you found out Carpenter also has admitted to a substance abuse problem even before he was hired as a driver? Right, Ann. Carpenter was hired as a bus driver last year by the Adams 12 Five Star School District. But 7 News has discovered through court records that prior to that, Carpenter had issues with substance abuse in the nursing industry. According to this affidavit, Burton Carpenter admitted to a witness that he was drinking vodka out of a 32 ounce Gatorade bottle like this. The affidavit says Carpenter was unstable on his feet, stumbling down the bus steps and catching himself on the side of the bus when an officer asked him to step off. It also says his blood alcohol was .213 and he was traveling in both lanes of traffic, straddling the painted lines for most of the trip. The school district says it ran a background check before hiring Carpenter as a driver. And what did this particular background check show? These background checks, they uh, refer to local, state, national databases, and there was nothing in the background check that would preclude him from employment. But a simple check by 7 News shows Carpenter voluntarily relinquished his nursing license in May of this year for what he called a substance use disorder. That came after he received a letter of admonishment from the state while working at Boulder Manor, where he allegedly stole Percocet, a pain medication. How come the district didn't know about that? And there's numerous regulatory agencies that uh, look after various industries, in particular the nursing industry. It's not something that uh, is related to the scope of that individual's employment. We asked the district if they will now review their hiring processes, and they say that they are always looking to improve their processes. Carpenter was fired by the district on October 9th after being put on administrative leave earlier this fall. He is still in jail. We checked with the Adams County Jail today and requested a jailhouse interview. He denied our request. Live in Adams County, Russell Haythorn, 7 News.